WhatsApp users are the highest in the world. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. So, no, no. The point, issue is not that, Malas, whether they are the largest user or not. No. It will depend on jurisdiction, Malas. The point is, it no, depends no. on jurisdiction. We, and Malas, kindly don't look at it from the point of view of one aspect also, Malas. No, no. I'm sure there yeah, are many. Yeah, now, kindly look at it from this, this point of view. This has global repercussions. It is incentive. That's correct. And, but no, it's not correct. Many of the directions of the central government are flouted. Many of the... Zero one, I appear for the uh, appellants or the SLP petitioners. Yeah. Because I understand that the matters for directions... So this, That's right. Yes, yeah, so the... The pleadings, uh, pleadings are complete. Yes, the pleadings are complete. This uh, what, is the, right, uh, shortly the issue, what is the issue? You've is not yet been formulated, uh, Malad, I think. Some of so the issues will have to be formulated. Yeah. But there is one more angle, my lord, if I can assist you a lot. Appearing for your order passed by a lordship, my lord, which your lordship would find order dated 6th September 2017. That's right. But this honorable court was pleased to record mm. that uh, we have received a draft bill and uh, that will be presented, you know, that was the status then. So since the list came at a very late midnight, you know, I could not take instructions. But from the media reports you know, and an interview, you know, I find that that bill is withdrawn and a new bill would be introduced you know, in the next session of parliament. No, but why is it referred to the council? Yes, so you know, I'll just indicate there was. Why is the matter before the? Yeah, I'll just tell your lordships. So the issue over here was. There a there, conflict between benches? No, there's a messaging that. service called WhatsApp. A messaging service yeah. called WhatsApp. Now that what, uh, as far as WhatsApp is concerned, the company itself was taken over at one point of time by Facebook. That's right. Subsequent to that, there was a change in the privacy policy. Mm. Now, that is the subject matter of challenge in the High Court, and that was the subject matter of challenge before the High Court. Yes. The High Court has rendered a decision. When the matter came up here, a bench presided over by Chief Justice Kehar felt that the issues were so important that he said, and there is an order recording so, that this would be referred to or should be placed before a constitution bench. There were no questions at that point of time which were formulated in terms of the reference because the issues overall were regarded of, as great of great moment and of great importance. Thereafter, there have been a series of orders in this case and a series of hearings in this case oh. where the issue of maintainability, etc. has been debated and previous orders will reflect that several counsel have addressed the court on maintainability, what the issue should be, whether it should be taken up by five judges, etc. Subsequently, there's a very major development which has occurred. The major development which has occurred is that now there is a cleavage in the WhatsApp privacy policy, which is being applied, say, I'm illustrating, to Europeans versus that which is applied here in India. And the degree, and we place that on record, by the way, by way of affidavits and, and further applications, etc. And what we find is, that the standards which, which, which apply to a WhatsApp user in the, in the European Union are much higher and the degree of uh, protection with, and privacy which is enjoyed by them is of a higher order. Those options are not available here in India. So one of our thrust arguments is that look, until such time as the bill or whatever, the act finally takes shape because we've seen this saga going on and then the government well within its rights has withdrawn the bill there was a committee, a, a parliamentary committee report, and they want to bring it, uh, they want to align it. That's what the statement says. They want to align it now with the recommendations, etc. Even subsequent to a bill being introduced, it's possible, it's possible that uh, it may be referred to a parliamentary committee, etc. We don't go, we, that's all in the realm of speculation. But the issue today, which is a live issue, is that Indian users, according to us, ought not to be disadvantaged who are users in global jurisdictions because, according to our understanding, privacy now is, a, apart from being a human right and now recognized in our, by our court as a fundamental right, has global implications. And if it's a universal human right, and if you are able to persuade your lordship that it is a universal human right, then as far as global corporations are concerned, they of course have to comply with local laws. But absent a local law, they have to uh, uh, adopt a global
golden mean or a golden standard which we will place before you in terms of what is being up. So this is very much a live issue, number one. It's an issue which we'll assist your road trips to on whatever date is convenient. And we will place matters both with respect to maintainability as well as. But what was suggested by the Solicitor General, which was correct, uh, he, what he reflects said was correct that at one point of time, even after hearings were held, because the committee was constituted, etc., etc., the matter did uh, was deferred. But now that is several years earlier. Was it being heard by a constitution? No. Yes, it was being heard by a constitution. So you'll find a series of orders after the first order, one which was heard made. by a constitution bench on several days. It's not just one day. No, no, it no. It was no. heard no. only one day. Lots it of doesn't matter. Orders. Uh, please see, let us start 18th April 2017, please. Please have a look at the order of 18th April 2017. It was heard. Yes, then 27th. It doesn't matter. One, 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 one or five may not be heard earlier. That's all. Yes, it's heard. And it was heard on maintainability, etc. And the court records uh, dozens of, I mean, not dozens, I'm sorry, a series of counsel who've been heard on both sides. So my request today, to keep it short, is that please, I mean, whatever subject to the convenience of the court and the other side, please place this on some date. When we can assist the court, I, I mean, in my estimation, I we will take less than. Well, so far as uh, the petitioner's contention is concerned, but it is the stand of the government that Indian citizens cannot be discriminated against as against the other consumers of the same WhatsApp. But my respectful submission is that the government is alive to this situation, and the preparation and the making of a bill is already ongoing. And it needs a legislative response rather than a lot of judicial intervention. And if your lordships can consider waiting till a lot of the legislation is put in place, your lordships would have the benefit of that legislation also because many of the concerns of the petitioner may be taken care of. Well, as may I, when may I, that happen, you know, because can we keep on it? Well, well, yes, yeah, years. Not since it was listed yesterday, very late, but the matters were listed. It was being heard earlier also. Yes. So that was some two years, three years back. That's right. Mm -hmm. no, if legislation was keen to have a legislation, it could have brought the legislation. It was a legislation. I mean, no, there we, was a... Either we keep on endlessly putting it on. No, what I'm submitting is there was, a there, there was a legislation. There was a legislation. A new bill was prepared. That new bill, my lord, for good reasons, my lord, is now withdrawn. Oh, yeah. And another bill is under preparation, my lord. Uh, since the matter came up late night, I could not gather the instructions what time it will take. Lord, that, may, that's my answer. May I, my lord, just respond? I'm appearing for WhatsApp. My learned friend is for Facebook. My lord. Now, my lord, this litigation is not WhatsApp-centric. Because if you talk, my, my learned friend has made it WhatsApp-centric. If you talk of privacy policy, it applies across the board to all platforms, maybe Facebook, maybe Google, maybe Google. every pla Twitter, every platform it will apply. So it has implications not for WhatsApp, it has implications throughout the world on all social platforms. That's number one. All and all intermediaries, it has implications. That's number one. Number two, Malas, the High Court in this matter decided that the writ does not lie. Malas, that's an issue that your lawyers will decide at the appropriate time. Third, my learned, friend, my learned friend talked about the European law. Malaz, European law is a unique law applicable to Europe. For the rest of the world, Malaz, WhatsApp follows laws of all other jurisdictions in the rest of the world, whether it's Australia, Canada, United States, so, and Japan. For, for all those jurisdictions, the present law is applicable. So my learned friend is now saying, because it is discriminatory for Europeans, we should follow the European standard. And we should not follow the US, the Australian, the Korean, the Japanese standard. Well, that's, that's something that your lordships will have to decide. Mr. Sibyl, Mr. Sibyl, see, our job. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. We'll go ahead. Mr. Sibyl, uh, are we correct in understanding that you have different standards? Obviously, you have now said so. Yes. Uh, Indian WhatsApp users are the highest in the world. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes. So, the advantage and disadvantage, qua the largest group of users is what is perceived here, apart from the maintainability aspect that you have pointed out. No, no, the issue is not that, Malaz, whether they are the largest users or not. No. It will depend on jurisdiction, Malaz. The point is, it no, depends no. on jurisdiction. We'll, we'll discuss the point that, that I'm making is, Malaz, it ultimately depends on the law framed by parliament. If the European parliament frames the law, Malaz, the jurisdictions will have to follow that. If the U.S. Well as, uh, Senate frames the law, that will have to be followed. If Australia frames, so what my learned friend is saying to your lordships is the following: that they, 
And Malas, kindly don't look at it from the point of view of one aspect also, Malas. No, no. I'm sure there yeah, are many. Yeah, now kindly look at it from this this point of view. This has global repercussions. If we are the largest yeah. users, True. it has global repercussions. And if we are the largest users, yeah. it depends on the kind of investment that this country is going to get into. If you have a law that that restricts uh, through a judicial determination certain policies, Malas, you may not get the investment. So it has commercial implications. It has investment implications. It has free speech implications. It has privacy implications, and it has implications that we should now there should be a judicial dicta that we should be we should follow the European law and not laws all over. One the, is not saying that, but the no, but at the same time, of data. At the same, that's right. So, Malad, there's a the commercial aspect to it. So, Malad, there are. At the same time, if you not, if you go through the judgment of the Delhi High Court, yes, yes. The direction was given actually. Yes, a direction was given. At page number 15, yes. you can see an order was issued that the users who opt to remain in WhatsApp are concerned. And up to 25, 10, and 9, 2016, that shall not be shared with the Yes, people. we have complied with that. Complied. Complied. Yes. Complied. So we have complied with that. that, that was, it cannot be said that that was not entertained. or No, no, no we have complied. If, if it could not have been maintained. Where is the question of issuing? No, no, that's a man saying High Court decide. I'm not, Mullahs, I'm not. High Court. I'm not saying, Mullahs, that your lordships will be inhibited by that technicality. I'm saying issues of far reaching importance. There are two choices. Yes. In the light of the observation made, I mean, the submission made by the solicitor. One is to consider posting it in January. Yes. Which means this will give the legislature ample time to bring in a law. What are we here trying to? Is it a, establishing a point or securing the rights of the users? Now, if the legislature is going to come forward with a comprehensive law, which may be a solution to all the problems, yes, we need not be breaking our heads to you know establish a, a point in law as such. If there is no likelihood of, you know, if that's I think a reasonable time we are giving. We are putting it, say, somewhere in the second week of January. The other is to put it at the earliest, which can be in the second week of November, and proceed to hear the matter. So may I may I respond to that? So first and foremost, I don't have a problem if the matter is fixed in the second week of January, but it should it ought to be. I can only request it ought to be on the understanding that there will be a final hearing on that particular Absolutely. date. Because it can't be that in January, then we are again no, for directions no, as to no. another three months. Either there yes. is a law, or yes. Either, either there is a law, is a law yes. or we will begin hearing. Yes, or because is, because the, the you. burden of our song is also until a law, what should be the uh, norm required? No, that is ultimately because how can we prevent like, a parliament from or whoever, whichever the appropriate legislature is from making a law, and that can always be amended because there will be an element of experimentation. So I have no problem with 15 January, on, uh, but I will only request that then let it be on in 15 January, whatever date or thereabouts, uh, fixed for final hearing. We will file our written arguments before that. I'm all clear. Yes, because yes. we'll go on with the case. Yes, I agree. I, 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 I but my stand is clear. My stand is clear. Howsoever big a multinational is, if you are operating in India, you have to comply with the laws of Absolutely. India and you have to treat Indian citizens no. with equal degree of privacy which you are treating others. That's true. Because the difficulty is, I'm, I'm not making it WhatsApp centric, it should be citizen centric. That's correct. And but no, it's not correct. Many of the directions <laughs> of the central government are flouted. Many of the legal directions and the statutory regime are flouted. We are, we are arguing one matter, uh, Lord, uh, filed by one intermediary. I will not name Mr. Datar is appearing uh, in Karnataka High Court. So, Lord, they may not feel that since we have a global presence and we have kind of a. All right. We learned it. Uh, 